This is Lewis Art for Boxing Social in association with Empire Fight Store for Irish Doubt, FreeBets.com. Delighted to be joined with Fraser Clark um, on holiday here after a, a tough, tough fight on Sunday night. Um, I suppose it's been a couple of days now, but how, how are things? How are you doing? Yeah, I'm all right. You know, um, body's healed up well. I feel fine again. Um, recovered, rested. You know, I've, I've already done a little bit back in the in the gym, you know, a little tiny bit, just just go over a few mistakes. Um and um yeah, I'm 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 disappointed in the results still, but I'm um I'm I'm quite proud of the performance, you know, everyone keeps telling me how much of a good performance it was and such and such. So, you know, you take that from it, but ultimately, yeah, I'm still still a little bit disappointed that it was a draw because I felt like I won the fight. Absolutely. I suppose we'll just get on to that right now. Um how do you I suppose it has been a couple of days now? Um, and so as you briefly mentioned it there, but how do you reflect on on the fight as a whole? Um, obviously a classic for the British fans and one that has you know, the, the the reaction since that fight has been heavy, heavy praise for yourself, Fabio, and, and everyone involved. But how do you reflect on on Sunday night? Yeah, just just a real a real good fight, you know. Against, against a tough a tough man and a and a um, a game game fighter, you know. He, um, there was there was points in the fight where I thought, you know, I'm really 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 going to take over now and. Uh, no, fair play to Fabio. Uh, all, you know, all credit to him that he fights back. You know, it might might be a bit unorthodox, but he always fights back. So it was a, uh, it was it was it was a uh, it was a good night. Okay. I suppose we'll, we'll firstly touch on at, at the end of the fight. Um, I suppose when the twelve rounds are done, uh, do you feel do you feel like despite having the point deduction and, and the knockdown that you felt like you'd done enough to win the fight? Yeah, I still felt like I'd done enough. You know, even with them, I'm not. I've not gone back and scored it yet because I just had a few days away from it. But um, just overall feeling was I felt like I'd done enough, if I'm honest. Um, you know, the the point deduction, I, I wasn't too sure on that neither. You know, I, I know when, when there's a low blow and I'm not seeing it, so I can't say nothing on it. But it was definitely not intentional. Uh, whether it touched the belt or not, I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, I thought that was a bit harsh considering, you know, Fabio... I think he was worn four or five times for using the back of his hand. Yeah. So, no, I just, I just felt, um, felt a little bit hard done by, by that. But I'm not one of these fighters that's going to sit here and complain about it. You know, um, the referee and judges did their job. And on another day, you know, I think we could have walked away with that with the, the titles, but it wasn't to be. Well, I suppose we'll get on to that low blow. Um, obviously, you did get the point deducted for the low blow. And I suppose there was um, a lot of complaints from, from Fabio's team. Um, and also, I suppose a lot of the complaints from, from from your side when it when it came, I suppose Fabio almost sort of using the using the jab in in, in a weird way. Um, I spoke to Dave Allen after the fight, who's obviously a previous opponent of yours, um, and he yeah. and he sort of said to you, you know, he, you know, Fab Fraser does it on purpose. He knows what he's doing. He's doing it to buy time. Um, I suppose what what do you make of them claims? Not just I suppose from from just the public in general that I suppose maybe the low blows or, or your tactics were used to sort of buy time, I guess. Yeah, I think I think asking Dave Allen's probably the wrong thing to do. He's he's very he's very irrelevant in, in the in the scene. Um, you know, he's sort of a comedy guy that we all we all like to have a laugh about and, and with us both. But um I don't I don't do it on purpose, you know. Um if anyone does anything on purpose, he wears his protector high on purpose to cover his yeah. gut. So um so that's why it's probably the low blows, but um, you know, it definitely wasn't intentional. Um, I wouldn't. I wouldn't do that from the position I was in in the fight. You know, I wouldn't. I would mm-hmm. definitely do nothing to try and risk that. But in the heat of battle, things happen. You know, so yeah, um, yeah it is what it is. Like I say, you know, I can't sit here and cry about it. But um, it just makes you think. You know, if you don't throw that one shot, you 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 win the fight. You win the fight. But you know, yeah. like I say, in the heat in the heat of a fight, you know, things happen. Okay. Um, I suppose you know you prepare for the best Fabio Wardley in camp that you always prefer for the hot, the toughest fight. But in there, when you're in the room with him, was there anything that surprised you about Fabio? In there? Um, no, I, I knew it was tough, and like I said, you know, I think I think we both we both we both yeah okay we both downplayed the um, the sparring, uh, but you know we, we did do a few rounds and and we took a little bit from each other. I think. I think we I think that definitely played out in the fight as well. You know, I think um I think what surprised me about it was that he, I knew he was tough, but I didn't know he'd take that much and come back, you know. I thought mm-hmm. I thought at one point I thought I thought he might have been gone, but at the same time, like I say, I kicked myself because 
I feel like I smothered my work a little bit towards them yeah. because I was a little bit tired. And you know, if I'd have kept the range on a few of them shots, then and just yeah. put a little a little burst on, I think the referee was ready to jump in. If I'm honest, at some points. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I suppose when when it comes to that, um, and especially how close it was, it's, do you feel like there's been times maybe after the fight that you've been kicking yourself because of obviously with the knockdown as well, and I suppose yeah. everything that came into the fight. Is there sort of like you were so close? Like, is there sort of some I guess regret in a sense because knowing that you were so close, but I suppose Kate came up short. Yeah, you know, like I said, I, I hold my hands up. I take full responsibility. You know, for for that. Uh, the, the knockdown was a mistake, you know, I crossed my leg. So I did it. I did it more times in that fight than I've done in the whole camp. You know, it's, it's, um, your balance and stuff is very important. And, um, on the, on the crucial night, you know, it, it let me down a little bit, you know, in, 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 in small moments. So, um, I'm, like I say, I hold my hands up to that, you know, I'm not, not trying to dodge the blame or anything like that. Um, little boxing's about moments, professional boxing's about moments, about things you've done in the gym. And are you carrying it out? There's a few things that I, I, I could have and should have done better. Um, and that would have been definitive. You know, the, the fight would have been mine 100% then. And then if we do get on again next time, I will iron out their mistakes and I'll make sure that, that I do them in the ring good. I'll come to win that fight next time. And I suppose when, when you had the knockdown, I believe, in the fifth round, right at the end of the fifth round. And, and for yourself to, I suppose, get up from that knockdown and I suppose for the whole fight, um, you mentioned in the post-fight presser that you said that you know there was a lot of people who were sitting sort of in that presser that didn't believe in you, didn't think you'd win. Um, and I know you know you box for yourself, you box to prove it for yourself. But does it feel extra special knowing that you know you probably, you, you proved that a hell of a lot of people wrong out there on a, on Sunday night? Yeah, I'd be lying. I'd be lying if I said it. Is it? It has been nice to shut a lot of people up because I feel like for the last year or so, well, my whole pro career, and probably to be fair, probably through no form probably through no one else's fault but mine, you know, performances haven't been that outstanding. But at the same time, I've not lost a round yet, do you know what I mean? So I, I, I often understand where people was coming from with their predictions. But at the same time, I didn't lose a round up until up until Sunday night. Um, I beat everyone really comfortably. I'm not sure what everyone expected, but I suppose if they don't see it, they can't expect it. So I have got it, but it was nice to shut a few people up, you know, um, Especially the one about me not having the heart, you know that that was yeah. that was that was one that did get me a little bit because I know what I've been through in my life. I know what I've been through in boxing, and I know that the heart is something that I'm full of. You know, like I said, um, where I come from and what I've been through. Um, the one thing no one had to worry about ever was me having the heart. Um, it's just, it's just one hundred percent there. So it was nice to shut a few people up, and even in, especially a few of the industry people. You know, they uh, yeah. obviously they can only go off what they're seeing, like you're saying. But now I think I think I have a little bit a little bit more of a clue what I'm what I'm about, and just so they know that that's nowhere near the finished article yet. You know, yeah. that's my ninth that's my ninth pro fight, first title fight. There's so much more for, to come from me, so much more. Just uh, just touching on there, and you know, you mentioned about sort of the difficulties when people said that you had sort of questioned your heart. But is it ever difficult when I suppose people question your ability when? They, you know what you're, you know what you're capable of. You, know, you, you've just proved it there. So be before that, was it quite difficult when I suppose people would be questioning a bit when you know what you do in the gym, you know how good you are. So uh, you know, I, again, I'm, I'm not one of them people that's going to sit here and say, "Oh, I told everyone, I told you so." People can only go off what they've seen, and and granted, you know, for myself, I have high expectations myself, and I don't feel like I quite performed to the level I knew I could as a professional yet. So people's people's um, judgment only come off what they've seen, but. You know, deep down inside me, you're just waiting for the right time to prove people wrong. And Fabio was the right dance partner. And I think, you know, I hope uh, some people might not be completely swayed, but, you know, I think people I think people will definitely know what I'm about now. And it will at least prove to them, like it's proven to myself as well, you know, that I'm well capable of going on and doing good things in this sport. Absolutely. I suppose just a final couple ones from myself. It was only right to ask now what is next. Um, and I'm sure it's very, very early to say. Um, but ideally, you, there's only one option for you. That would be the rematch. Um, so ideally, that's what you want next. I know Dan Rafe, you reported it could be potentially in September um, regarding now Fabio's noses, but ideally, that's what you want. Oh, of course, I'd love the rematch. You know, I think, I think when, when two fighters, if you're a proper fighting person, you have a draw with someone, you, you don't sleep well at night. You know, um, it's only been a couple of nights and I've still not quite slept well knowing that no, not none of us got the better of each other, you know, in, in the judges' eyes. So I, I definitely want to get that win um and, and get that 
taken off the record. Well, not taken off, but you know what I mean, like right the wrong sort of thing. But Fabio is still the champion, you know, I'm well aware of that. Um, and like he has said, I think ball is in his court. So it's all it's up to him. But, you know, I think once the options get put on the table of where he can go and, and who he can fight, I think business wise and, and for his own for his own sake, you know, he's a proud man. I think I think I think ultimately it'll come down to the fact that we, we need to fight each other again. So I'm not gonna speak for him, he'll do what he wants to do, his team will have a good plan. I'm sure of it, but um, you know, I'd I'd love to fight Fabio again, definitely. Absolutely, and obviously good to see 1.7 million tuning in on the Sky for the fight as well, as you saw. Yeah, I mean, obviously, that's, that's great for Sky and great for boxing. Of course it is. Um, my job's boxing, you know, that them, them numbers, I'm, I'm, I'm not at the stage yet where they're quite a concern. Maybe, maybe if we make it to pay-per-view one day, then uh, I'll, be, I'll be a bit more interested in them numbers. But at the minute, you know, my job is just getting in the gym and, and getting on the fight night and, and doing what I did on Sunday night. Just a little bit more, though, so I can have my hand raised and, and only my yeah. hand raised. But, um, you know, the numbers are fantastic, you know. Um, I'm glad we're entertained, you know. Um, it's an entertainment sport and the support has been unbelievable. You know, since I've had yeah. a lot of people, fair play to a lot of people, they've had some humble pies, sent me some nice messages. Mm-hmm. And when I've, when I've scrolled back through a few of them, the messages from a few months ago were quite different. So um, there's some good people out there still. I've got a bit more hope in humanity. Um, but like I say, you know, People will still have the opinions and whether they love me or hate me or not, you know, I'm just going to just keep doing my job. Absolutely. And just uh, as we do close this off, is there any, I suppose, thanks you want to give to whether it be training partners, you know, family and everyone who supported you throughout what's the hardest camp in your career, I can imagine? Yeah, 100%. You know, Loughborough University, they've been amazing. Um, they've been amazing supporting me. You know, the EAC Hotel, where I've stayed, amazing. Um, my missus, Danny Lee, she's had to, she's had to support me so much the last 10 weeks. It's been difficult for her with the kids. Uh, my family, my friends, Burton on Trent Swaddling Co. Just, 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 there's so many, too many thank yous to, you yeah. know, to go to, uh, you know, um, Josh Pawatsi, you know, he, he dropped in a few times for some lovely messages and just to keep me on a straight and narrow, you know, uh, Lawrence Acoli, Galawi Afbai, all the pros that just checked in on me, you know, and I made sure I was doing the right things, a bit more experience than me. So it was, you know, it's just good. The whole boxing world's been good to me, you know, I, I've got a lot of friends in it. Um, but, you know, my sponsors as well, you know, you can't, there's so much goes into these, yeah. it's the one person. You, you, I could be here all day saying thank yous, but, um, yeah. you know, yeah, thank, thanks to them. Obviously, Angel Fernandez, Jason Allen, uh, Loughborough, my coaches, you know, they've been they've been great. Yeah, absolutely. Fraser, I know you are on holiday, so I do appreciate that you come to speak to me. Um, and yeah, as, as, as a fan, I said, um, thank you uh, for um, putting on a great, great show on Sunday night, mate. Really appreciate it. No problem. There's more to call, Stop. mate. Don't worry about it. Thank you. <laughs> For sure.